Hi, this is week 16, Science, Cycle 1, 5th edition. It's number 130, stretch in your band cleave, number 130, stretch. For this, you just need a balloon per student and a black Sharpie. So what the directions tell us to do is to draw a square on our balloon and leave the middle section um, not colored in. So I'm going to do that. It says draw a square on the balloon. I've done that. I'll show you that. They wanted you to divide the balloon into three sections and to, my, there's a glare, but, and to leave the section in the middle blank. Okay, I'm going to blow the balloon up. All right, then you're going to observe the markings. You see how they stretched larger? And the section in the middle stayed the same. Now we're going to deflate the balloon and observe the balloon again. So the balloon. Okay, that is completely the procedure. The okay, the why of our balloon stretching and looking different is because the rubber molecules are pulling apart the balloon and they're causing certain parts of it to stretch differently than other parts and that's why before we had a perfectly symmetrical square but then when we blew it up it was no longer symmetrical it's because the balloon stretched certain parts the rubber molecules stretch more in certain areas than they did in others and that was the result of it not being symmetrical Okay, now we're moving on to 132 spurt, 132 spurt. The book calls for a half empty tube of toothpaste. So I'm going to provide both in the classroom. I'm going to provide the half empty tube of toothpaste, but I also <clears throat> want to use this clear bag that I have filled with colored gel because I want them to be able to visually see what's going on when we press on it. So I have taken some gel and I have colored it with red food coloring and I'm just going to show you what happens when we push on it. So if I take my hands and I have all of it here and I push, then it moves between my hands and it spreads where they were. So if I, wherever I press, the gel moves away. And that is, this is to demonstrate that <clears throat> when rocks press on magma under the Earth's surface, that the magma moves in order to make way for the, for the pressure from the rocks. So that is the <clears throat> how and why of this one. This one is very short. Um, in, the, in the why section, it, it goes into more in-depth discussion about uh, if magma does this, then it's called that. If magma does this, then it's called that. So you can use um, that for discussion time because both of these are very, very quick. And so I think you'll have a lot of time to have some good discussions. I have a little book on volcanoes that I might um, bring if there is a section about magma. Um, but you will have time for discussion and you can just use your discretion for that. Thank you for watching. This is week 16 Classical Conversations 5th edition science. Number 130 and 132 in your band cleave.